this is just a, another quick example. We're just going to make a simple fork bomb. And the purpose of a fork bomb is just to consume memory in, until you crash the system or, or run out of memory. But um, this is a quick and dirty way to create an infinite for loop. Okay? So this, this will loop infinitely. And we're going to, we have two globals here. And we have created two two dimensional arrays. So they're going to persist in memory even when the functions that assign values to them fall out of scope and end. And we're going to pass them in as an argument. We've coded consume memory to take bomb. We have global bomb1, bomb2. And in our infinite loop, we're just going to keep calling consume memory again and again and again. And that's going to keep building and increasing the size of these objects until eventually we would you know, run out of memory and have, have error issues there. So we loop it, we call it, we pass them in, and what do we do? We're just going to keep accumulating values inside of Poppins, which is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and, and a slice of pi, 3.14, and then do, you know the continuation thereof. And so if we were to run it, we just keep getting larger, 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 <laughs> larger, larger, there. But I'll, I'll leave it at that. But... And notice, notice we started out here, our values weren't that bad. And then as we go through, and if, if we kept that running, yeah, you know, we'd, we'd definitely run out of memory there. Because we keep accumulating these values in, in these variables here. But that, that's just sort of a, maybe an illustration of what's going on with scope. And when you create larger objects, you know, you want to be careful how, how much you put in your global namespace and... You, know, you would never want to do this legitimately, but maybe it's fun to make a fork bomb sometimes. Who knows?